So maybe we are streaming now. Let's see. Test, test. Yeah, I think it's working. Oh, I guess I have to have that. Okay. So I don't, yo, what's up everybody? So I'm going to be playing the new Inteleon VMAX deck I got from Target a while ago. I made some changes to it right now, so it's probably going <laughs> to really, no, I think, I think we're going to do all right. I'm kind of new to playing this, but it's been a lot of fun. So I'm excited to see how this deck is going to do. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just going online and I'm just playing, seeing whoever's going to pop up. I did this yesterday and I think I played four games and I won, I think I won three of them. So, so yeah, I'm not, you know, this is just, yo, what's up, J. Scotty son? wonder if you play this too. But yeah, this is just, this is just kind of the thing I'm doing now. I, I feel like I haven't really collected too many new things lately. I've just been really getting into playing the game online, you know, like after school work and everything. I love this cast form because it has zero retreat cost, so I can put it out there, really. He's not really going to be a big attacker, yet his attack does go along with the theme of the deck, where it attacks like the bench Pokemon and everything, which is what we're really going to be looking to do with the Inteleons as well. It's just destroying the bench. So I thought this, this one would be a cool little intro. All right. Let's see if we can get somebody else on the bench, like a Sobble or... I guess this guy, this snob would be pretty awesome right now. So we can get the frost moth ready, really get some energy on everybody. That would be pretty awesome. We'll do that. Can't really do much else. So we'll go ahead and pass. But this is a fire deck, so this should be pretty awesome. Oh, um, see, yeah, I play Pokemon Go almost every day too. I need a Tornadus to do one of the. One of my last things. Yo, what's up? Please got sake. It's been so long since I've played the actual game. I figured I'd stop in while on lunch and watch. Yeah, let's see if we can uh let's see if we can beat somebody. That would be pretty awesome. So this only works with the bench. So uh, what I can do uh I don't think I'm gonna do it yet, but I'll put this guy on here. So yeah, so he powers up everybody on the bench. That's what I remember. So he won't really I guess he could power up the sobble in a moment. And then I can damage that Charmander right now. Hmm. Finish if you do draw three cards. Search your deck for three basic rapid strike Pokemon and put them on. I think what I should do is retreat. Okay, no, this is it. Big I'm I'm not saying I'm the greatest. <laughs> yeah. But here we go. So I could free retreat. Oh, I could actually bird keeper retreat and then I'll draw three cards, right? I think that's probably the best to hope we get an evolution later on. I think that would be awesome. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll switch with him. We'll draw three cards. We didn't get an evolution, but once our nature player's turn, that player must put a basic energy card from this card into their hand. I don't think I have any yet. Nessa put up to four in any combination of water Pokemon and water energy from discard pile into your hand. I still don't have any of those. Um, so I think we're going to do keep calling and get these guys on the bench. Because what we want to do is we want to get the Intelli on third stages and start getting some uh, other Pokemon up there. And then, yeah, next turn with the Incineroar, and we'll do some other things. So I think what I want to do now, I could do 80 damage. But I think what we're going to want to do is we'll put a Water Energy here, just in case we have to retreat. And then we'll draw some more cards. Yeah. 
cool, cool. This is this is actually really awesome. So Intellion V. This, I guess I get another drizzle. Yeah, it will put you. Yeah, evolutionary incense definitely will evolve you. Awesome. And uh, yes, I'll get a trainer card. Bucket done. Oh yeah, we're gonna be powering up some guys. This is awesome. We're doing a lot. I feel like a pro. Look at me doing all these things. Doing all these things. All right. We'll go ahead. I stance onto this guy. Onto that guy. Onto that guy. Mm, yeah. Choose an energy card. Yeah. Onto you. Bam, bam, bam. What can I do? 130. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I guess I'll go ahead and I'll retreat and I'll put them on there because I'm not worried about anything real big. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty awesome play. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go ahead and retreat. Yeah. We'll see if this guy. He's going to even want to play anymore after I just aqua report him. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Hey, man, what's your online name? I'll jump on in a bit and we'll battle if you're up for it. Yeah, I don't know if I'll battle right now, but maybe later, Tom. It's um, Death Shart. <laughs> D-E-A-T-H-S-H-A-R-T. Okay, let's see their hand. They got a switch, Pokemon Center later, and they got a couple fire energies and a mellow and Lana. Okay. Yeah, but that'll be fun. Um, yeah, maybe maybe we will battle now or some other time. For sure. Oh, cool. Yeah, this looks awesome. I mean, I'm sure he's gonna he's just gonna quit. Are you? Are you? Yeah, I don't I don't see them. Oh, okay. Keeping it going on. That's cool, man. Uh, respect. We'll go ahead. We'll do this. Um, I'll just say no because there's no reason. But this is fun. And then, and then, yeah, so we got all those. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to make it any longer. That's kind of rude. But I would have just, like, evolved my my bench out some more. But, yeah, there's no reason. We're going to – we respect our opponent's time. I think that's nice. Respect their time. <laughs> Even though it's, it is it is a lot of fun stacking up your side and doing all these cool things. But – but, I mean, if I was them, if I was on the other side, I would want my time to be respected. But I'm really happy. I'm really, ha I'm really happy that first one. That was, that was really cool. That was really, that was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when you win. I'll send you a friend request. Cool. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm not, like, super up on, like, I honestly really just started playing this. So, I'm not great with the user interface. So, sometimes it, it can take a while. For me to be like, oh, this is the friend request. This is where that's at. Like I have a, I have trouble going, going through it all. I should probably watch some more things on it because I swear I'm like, I think you go here, then you go there. But, but nah, call the flip. We'll call heads. Cool. Uh no. I mean, the first player doesn't get to use a supporter, and the first player doesn't get an attack. So I don't know. I always feel. Like going second. And I know there's a lot of strategy involved in going first or second depending on the deck that you use. And I'm learning all of that right now. Okay, yeah. See, I see that notification too. And then some, but I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Um, I'll definitely check it out later though. All right. So we're going to let him choose. We got our one Pokemon we can go put up there. I have a lot of water energies in this hand. That's kind of, I don't know, not the best thing. But right now, I would have really hoped for some more basic Pokemon. Okay. I mean, I could, I could knock out their guys into, ooh, 
I've seen this deck before. Togekiss VMAX is pretty buff. Yeah, I think we did talk before on IG. Okay. Mm. I honestly don't want... Okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this just so we can thin the deck up. So hopefully we get some basic Pokemon soon. And then uh, are some trainer cards. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, go first if you have evolution Pokemon. So since I do have like Frost Moss and Sobbles, I can see where going first can really help out a lot. Okay. Okay. Oh no, this is terrible. I mean, I can knock him out, but I don't really want to use the Marnie because I have all these water energy. Hmm. You know what? I think I do use the Marnie. And I do have things to get the water energy back in my deck. But he has two. You know what? And if your opponent's active Pokemon is evolutionary Pokemon, there's 20 more. It doesn't. So I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. So we'll go ahead. We'll wait another turn. Because I'm able to grab a couple. Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't see. And now I'm dead. I think it's game over. Okay. That was a fun one. <laughs> I didn't see that it did that. And yeah, game over. Hey, the other person let me finish, so I'll let this person finish. That was a quick one. <laughs> yeah, just he used agility. I thought it was like an, an extra damage thing. That's another thing. While you're playing, you're going to learn the effects of all the Pokemon being used. Like when I was doing the um, the build and battles, that was a big thing. Definitely read all the abilities of the cards coming up. And yours. There's a lot of times when I had some really awesome abilities that that I didn't I didn't use that I should have used. You know, what? we'll go first this turn. Hopefully, we get some Pokemon that evolve. Hey, this looks a little familiar. Doesn't really get a help out with the evolving this time. Okay. Oh, it looks like you to draw another card. Cool. But yeah, when this deck and when other decks, when you get the cards you need, it's definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll draw another card. Okay, blue. I didn't draw them, so yeah, I right, don't need to use that yet because I have a lot of cards in my hand. Hmm. I'm just gonna, yeah, we'll, yeah, I can attack this turn, first turn. Person going first can attack. Oh, <laughs> I guess you guys can listen to the music on this. I didn't think that was all quiet. There we go. All right, what do we got? We got a Frost Moth. <laughs> what should I do? I have all these evolutionary cards. I don't want what happened last time to happen again. Uh, just in case something here. Now we're not getting rid of a whole bunch of cards, but I have things to get those guys back in the deck. Okay, here we go. Bam. Bam. We'll hold on for that later. And we will wave splash. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Pokemon Slayer. What's up? So I wonder what deck this is. A Snubble and Oracorio. Well, you know what? Hammers doesn't really bug me. It's a frost moth deck and and stuff, so I mean you can go ahead. And I got the energy, so that's fine as well. Okay, Nessa put up to four in any combination of water Pokemon and water from your discard pile into your hand. Ooh, okay, see that's that's nice. 
because I have those guys. So let's get this. I guess we're gonna drizzle. Because I think we have those two Inteleons in there. Inteleon, so we can use the VMAX as well. And I will use this. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and we'll just knock him out. Then we'll probably water reserve, evolve, and then really set up. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, see, it was take take the great ball, go for the Inteleon V. I was just going to do the Poke Kid, and now I can get the Inteleon V. That's what I was thinking, too, because I have the worst luck. Yeah, yeah, Poke Kid works. But, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Because, yeah, I have the worst luck with the great ball. And, like, with the old one with the Poke Ball, I just have, like, really cruddy luck with them. That's another thing, too. I might, I mean, even though this one's a supporter, that's another thing you guys got to learn, like, when you're when you're working with these with items and supporters. Supporters, you can only use one. Items like the Great Ball, you can use multiple. So, I mean, the Great Ball doesn't read as well as Poke Kid, but you can use that along with like a bunch of other items as well. Uh, well, I was also kind of afraid that he's gonna do something to disrupt my hand. I don't know. Well, I guess I could have put it down, but yeah, you're right. I could have, I should have used the Poke Kid, you're right? You're right. Learning. This is another great thing, I guess, doing this live so I can get some great advice from you guys. Hey, look at that! <laughs> I didn't. I mean, I could have evolved it uh, next turn, but let's go ahead and Nessa. Yeah, get those two Inteleons. That'll be perfect. Bam, bam, and I guess in case we get something else, and that. Yeah, so this is good. But yeah, I guess now I can get um, the the Snom, right? I'll get the Snom with the Poke Kid. Oh, and he's just gonna yo two win. No wait, two wins, one loss. Not bad, pretty quick too. This duck isn't terrible. Hey yo, what's up, Angry Weedle? I'm destroying these guys. Okay. I think we'll do it's almost 10 p.m. so nothing in the middle of the day alright I mean that was a lot of fun let's go for one more I, yeah I messed with the decks a little bit the deck a little bit from what I got from Target I think I put uh, the different sobbles so I can call like the, the sobbles from Chilling Rain and I put a couple of the Inteleons from Chili Rain as well, along with the one that does 120 that was from before it. And then I think I switched up some of the trainers to help me out. Oh, and I put this Calyrex V. Just for fun. Just something that's a bit of a heavy hitter that I mean I can also power up with the with this knob. Kinda sucks. I mean Snob has 50 HP and he's going up. Uh, I guess I could put Yeah, I'm gonna put Calyrex up. And the Snom, hopefully Snom doesn't get knocked out. And then we can power him up with the research. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah, I know. I definitely need to get another Inteleon V and VMAX for this deck. It would definitely be awesome to have three and three. What are we going to go in? It's a Blastoise deck? Mega Blastoise? Or VMAX? See, I've never gone against Blastoise. So this is going to be interesting. Blastoise is definitely like my favorite old school deck, though. Yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll draw another card. 
Okay, ooh, this is good. I like this. I like this deck so far. Done. Oh, this is a good start. I mean, I don't have any water energies. I think I should honestly buy 10. Oh, we're going against like a mirror. Okay. Um, they have an Inteleon thing too. I think my hand's a little bit better. Let's see. I don't want to get rid of the Frost Moth. Definitely want to evolve the next turn. I think the thing to do is going to be pass, evolve, Professor's Research, hopefully get some waters on all of these guys. Do 40 damage to him. Get this guy up. Okay, yeah, I think that's it. No, I'm not going to use that yet. Okay, yeah, I think that's the plan. That's the plan. Hopefully they don't disrupt the hand, because I really like that. Uh, if it is the this one, it does come with, I think, three or four Marnies. But if they have a hand that big, then I don't think they're going to use them. We'll go with Rock. Oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so many draws right there. Okay. The Waterhole Canyon. I didn't even know that was one. Flip two coins. Okay, okay. So they don't have a terrible hand. Retreats to a mine guy. I don't know. Okay, see, that's. We're going to go ahead, evolve. We're going to put the energy on the active. Uh, I could only do one supporter. I mean, I could. I don't want to switch because I don't have a water energy. I'm just going to research. I think that I'm going to stick with that plan. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. Mm, let's see. We'll do incense. And we already had the V Max. But yeah, we'll get Drizzle. Because, yeah, we have that Inteleon, so that's cool. So we'll evolve. Yeah, we'll get another trainer, and we will go... I guess we can... No, we don't want to do that. We'll go Great Ball this time and see what we can get. Yeah, we'll go Great Ball. And then we'll Capacious Bucket. I'm gonna get my Shiny. So that's cool. We'll go ahead. We'll see what we can get with this. Um, we have an Intelli on already. Mm, we have the Vmax. We'll just go ahead and we'll just get another Frost Moth just in case, I guess. And yeah, just in case something terrible happens because he does have that. Um, Get the VMAX right here. That's cool. Ice Dance. That's cool. And then we're going to knock this guy out with the Inteleon. Wait, hold on. No, wait. I should... Oh, I can't. He's not evolved yet. Next turn. Oh, okay. So that's going to be interesting. I'll go ahead, I'll hit him with 40, and the next turn I can do some other stuff. Alright, this is good, this is good. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be... I'll be I'll be surprised if they can beat me from this one. I'm not going to say they can't, but I really like where we're going next turn. I mean, they can evolve theirs too, really. But we're going to be able to hit it with our Inteleon, with two Inteleons. So that'll be nice. Okay. So just in case something happens, then I can evolve this guy. What happens if I knock it out? Like, I'm just curious. If I put two on this guy, then he puts somebody out right now? Okay. 
Okay, cool. Let me put that guy out. And then, ooh, bird keeper. Yeah, get rid of this guy. Put you out. And then, right here. I mean, I could do the Choodle, or I could just, I know this guy's coming up next, and worst case scenario, he has this one, and then it's kind of, hmm. We'll go ahead, max bullet, and yeah, this is what I'm going to most. And if he doesn't evolve, I'll be able to knock him out. So I think that's that's how we're going to, that's how we're going to do it. Kill the Carvana with the ability. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I guess I should have put down the novel just in case to evolve it, but I really think this is. There's that stupid Dan. And there's the Blastoise. All right, so this one was a bit different. This, this wasn't the. This isn't. This isn't really a mirror. This is. This is a strange deck. I don't really know how this one works. What are you gonna do? Okay. To try and get two prizes later on. Okay, so I think what we'll do is I could do 60 and then 80, or I can just, yeah, I'm gonna knock this guy out and then we'll just play along with. Oh, actually, all right, they have. Wait, what does he only have? He has 60 on it, so I do 80, uh, no, yeah, I think, we'll get that guy, quick shooting, I don't, but I should just, uh, I should have just done those two guys, because that's what, that's how we're going to be doing it, ooh, actually, and then knock this guy out, and then do 60 on this guy. I think I think that's how we'll do it. So that was all. I'm learning. <laughs> what I just did made no sense. Don't think what I did made, made any sense, because it didn't. <laughs> but okay, we'll go max bullet, knock this guy out, and then do a bunch. All right, and then if I do 60 there... Now we'll just do this. Yeah, what I did didn't make any sense. I don't think that made any sense, but we should be we should win like in another turn or two. Honestly, I would probably just Yeah, put it on the Blastoise. I should have. I was just thinking he was gonna bring this guy up, but yeah. I mean, okay. He put the Choodle down and he can't evolve it, so it really is game next turn, unless he does something wild, because we're just gonna knock Knock out the Inteleon and knock out that Choodle, because we have this Inteleon. So yeah, that'll be... I mean, he could see... I think he's going to take away an energy. No, he's just going to look at my hand. Okay, it's game. Because this... Quick shooting. There. Bam. This. This. Don't you... That. Bam. Bam. That was fun. This deck is pretty awesome. Wow. We destroyed victory. <laughs> yeah, and, and then put damage counters on the blasters. That's what I was thinking. I just wanted to make this all quick, and I wasn't really worried, but yeah, you're totally right. I was like, the fact that I put damage counters on that other one, and I was going to knock it out anyway, just didn't make any sense. It would have definitely been a lot better to spread them out. Another thing that I want to get on this deck besides another Inteleon V, another Inteleon V Max, is that scope. A lot of water types, yeah. Is that um, telescopic scope or telescopic sight? Like that, that would be perfect, perfect for this stack. Oh, I'm still winning. All right, let, let's just do, let's do another one because that was a lot of fun. These are going pretty fast. I feel like these decks you're up against are really weird. Nothing like the decks that come up against these days. No, and you're right too, Tom. Like yesterday, I went up. Some, I went up against some decks that just like straight up destroyed me. Like I think I I did four and I won two and lost two or five. I think I won two or three. But yeah, there were some decks that just like destroyed me. 
These ones seem a little sloppy that I'm going up against for sure. Would you like to go first? Yeah, we'll go first. So yeah, I'm not thinking that it's going to go like this for long because I'm sure someone's going to have a deck that's really... I mean, that you don't have to have a great deck to beat my deck. <laughs> I'm not saying my deck is amazing. It's fun. I enjoy it right now. But anybody who's played for a little bit or has, like, decent deck building skills, I mean, I'm sure they'll be able to take me down no problem. Oh, man. This hand sucks. Oh, yeah, that, that might be pretty cool, Tom. I'll learn how to do that stuff. I'll definitely add, like, I think this is going to be the last game. I'm probably going to lose this one. Never really went up against any dark deck before. <laughs> we'll go ahead and we'll do this. What did I? Oh, I can't. It's, oh, all right. It's my first. Okay, I went first, so I can't use a supporter. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll just use the wall. No, I can't attack first turn. I can't do that. Even though the attack doesn't do any damage, I always forget that I still can attack. And then, yeah, we'll just get it done. Man, I really like Pokey Kid. I guess I could just... I might Pokey Kid, Inteleon V, Water Reserve, get three energies, and then start seeing what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tom. Okay. So yeah, the Mantine and the Krabby. So what they are in here. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I understand what you mean with those. Like maybe like put more Sobble. And like the Mantine and the Krabby are definitely going to be the ones that would be replaced when I get another um, Inteleon V. They were just placed here because... I kept on playing, and I would only have one card up. Like, I didn't have enough basic Pokemon. So I definitely needed something. Um, that's why I had the Calyrex V, too. Like, it, that's pretty random as well. Um, but yeah, they basically came in because I kept on getting no basic Pokemon, and I just wanted to find something that would have some kind of synergy with the deck. And like, with the Water Reserve ability, that kind of helped. And I think Krabby has something that attacks the bench. So that's why they came in, because it was just like, they were better than than just not having any Pokemon, and from the cards that I do have. But yeah, definitely good eye. Uh, yeah, but like when I was playing, I was like, oh, I need more water energy, or oh, I need more basic Pokemon. So that's where Mantine and Krabby came from. Yeah, definitely, Tom. Definitely down to battle sometime. Later. I'm probably going to have to do some stuff after this. Just those other battles were just seeming to go like, seem to go by so quick. And I was kind of on a roll, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep on playing. Alright, so I think what we should do... Water energy, evolutionary incense, V Max, Evolve, Bird Keeper, get rid of the poison, switch. Snom, that's beautiful. Um, then I can't research, but I can Hydro Snipe. And I mean, you are gonna get poisoned, but yeah and the, the times that I do watch because I, I mean I feel like everybody who battles watches Tricky Jim like I really enjoy watching his stuff uh, what are you going to do if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned this deck does 120 more damage ooh that's scary 
And I probably should have read that before. I mean, I'm not poisoned right now. But, yeah. Yeah, that's not cool. Oh. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't know why he did that. You can take that one. Just take, get rid of my Krabby, my least favorite Pokemon out of all of them. Um, ooh. Ooh, what should I do? Okay. I think we'll put the Snom up. Let's see if we can get... Yo, this is what we wanted. Bam. Oh, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This is... This is awesome. Let's... Before we forget... Oh, he needs two to retreat? Hmm. We're gonna go... Because we might get something with this. Okay, we're gonna do eye stance. Get another one. And then we're going to... Done. Research. See if we can get something to switch it out. Okay, we have Capacious Bucket. We have an Inteleon. Professor's Research. Hmm. I guess we could power that up too. Discard 2 energy cards from this Pokemon. And we're just gonna... That's just 200. Uh, it's also like during a turn you may attach energy to your own Pokemon. Your bench Pokemon. Mm, yeah, the air balloon really needed to be on them. I don't really want to put him on the bench. We will... We're just going to done. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No. Uh, I that was stupid because it didn't need that at all. Okay. We're just going to done. We, we have the water bucket. I really should have put it on the Frost Moth so I could have retreated it next turn. That's what should have happened. One energy on there. Capacious Bucket. Worst case scenario, if he doesn't get knocked out, would be in, uh, to retreat the Frost Moth and then destroy with the Inteleon VMAX. That would have been the play. Should have forwarded the Mantle. Yeah, just to get... Just, I guess that one to get knocked out. Yeah. Okay, so we have this at the end of this turn draw cards all right don't need that don't need that I'm gonna do this done done frost moth is gonna be knocked out which is a bummer so I should definitely get that a free switch yeah oh mantine oh yeah because retreat yeah we're just gonna power up this guy. Ice stance. And power up. I mean, I could have switched again, but yeah, we're just gonna leave that one. Retreat one. Retreat two. And then, now we gotta knock out that Soul, soul of Bead 60, so. See, so yeah, I wanna knock that guy out. I would have bossed up something else, but we really wanna knock this guy out. What does he do? Put two energy card attached to this Pokemon. Put two energy attached to this Pokemon to your hand. Oh, that's not in effect. Okay, I think we got this now. It was a little rough. There was a lot of learning going on in the beginning of this, but now I think we're, we're about set. Hopefully he knocks me out. I mean, he might, I mean, this turn, next turn, I'll be knocked out if he doesn't attack me. I get to see, okay, there we go. Okay. So you will be the active. I didn't know you already knocked out two of my Pokemon. And then, now we go into 220. So if I do 160 and then 60... Then I'll be able to knock it out next turn if he puts it up. 
So we'll do that. Max bullet, like that. That math works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one, and I think, I think we're good. We have all these guys powered up. We have this good. I mean, the hand is decent. Yeah, I don't know why. See, I think these guys that I'm playing might be a bit younger. I'm making a lot of mistakes. And I'm doing pretty good because, yeah, I think these decks are kind of put together pretty strange and going against me and stuff. So definitely been lucky now. I should probably play around this time more often. <laughs> okay. And then we'll just win next turn. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, why did he do that? Oh, I'm still going to win next turn. Because both these guys will be knocked out. So we're just going to respect his time. And I won't set up anything else. We'll just knock it out. And call that game. Yo, Inteleon V deck. Pretty awesome. Definitely do need some more Inteleon V and V maxes. But I think I played four or five games. And I guess, yeah, one's five. That's really. That was a lot of fun. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for coming by. This was a lot of fun. Didn't expect the deck to do that great. Definitely went against some really strange decks. <laughs> yeah, that that probably didn't have you know. Um, yeah, they're they're interesting. But yeah, that was definitely definitely a lot of fun. I guess I will see you guys later. I'm going to see if I know how to get out of this thing. And then yeah, definitely Tom will probably get your ad. From here. See? It's like there was that message. But I don't see where they are. So that's weird. But yeah, I'll find you. I'll figure out a way. That was fun. That deck was definitely a lot of fun. See you guys later. Y'all have a wonderful day.